Hi, Brightly Crew. Welcome to March. This is going to be the Read With Me activity, and I have a friend with me. His name is... That's right. And Simon is, how old are you again? Hold him up here. Show them again. Show him your fingers. He's three years old. And are we going to have some fun together reading this story and then doing a fun activity, an art activity with it? Perfect. Let me tell you what you're going to need for this project. You are going to need a piece of cardboard, just a slice off of a box. Just Mm, about this size is great. One for each artist, each of your artists that you have. So I've got two. You're going to need a pencil. I'm using Sharpie so that you can see it. A pair of scissors. The adults will be doing the cutting for this activity. Two coins. I have two quarters. And a bowl. We're going to be tracing the outline of the bowl to get a circle shape. And then, of course, something to add color. You can use, we're gonna use paint sticks, but you could use crayons. You could use, what else could you use? Maybe markers, that would be a great idea. You could also use, what else? Did we already say, did we say crayons? I think we did too, but you can use anything that adds color. We're gonna use these chunkies. And um, have you used these before? Yeah. yeah. They have, at home too. You have them at home because you like them so much, right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And chunkies are going to be the art supply of the month. You can get them on and sale. And they in a bag. They, you keep them in a bag? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I keep mine in a box like this. So they are on sale this month if you, for crew members only. Hey, you use a paint stick with a, a little friend. I did. I did use them with a little friend. All right, so gather your supplies. We're going to get ready, and then we're going to read a book, one of my favorite books, called Box of Text, and it's by Kim Smith. Are you ready to read with me? Perfect. All right, let's but read this book. Let's read this book. Beans. Yeah, there are whiteies. Let's read this book. Are you ready to read with me? Perfect. This book is called Box of Text by Kim Smith. She's the one who wrote it. And I think she's the one who drew the pictures because it says that it's by her. Box of Text. Oh, there's another place. There is another sticker. Box of Text. Meg was a box of text. She loved to make things out of boxes. I see boxes and scissors, tape, paint. What are those? Paint brushes. Paint brushes. All a bunch of art supplies. She loved making tiny houses, tall towers, and twisty tunnels. And she made marvelous things no one had ever seen before. Meg was proud of her work. She could make boxes into anything. Meg's mother was proud too. She thought Meg was brilliant and creative. So Meg's mother sent Meg to maker school where she could be even more brilliant and creative. At maker school, there were blanketeers, spaghetti techs, tin foilers, and egg cartoneers. There was almost any kind of maker you could imagine. But Meg was the class's first box detect, and that made her feel special. Do you see the spaghetti? The spaghetti techs making things out of noodles? That's fun. Mm -hmm. And a blanket tech. Have you ever been a blanket tech before? No. Have you made a fort out of blankets before? Well, we do that home. Yeah. Well, we have a tent inside. Yeah, so you are a blanketeer too. And then, do you see what these kids are making? Do you know what that is? Can you tell what that is? No. I think it's cake. <laughs> what do you think about that? Do you think it's cake? No. No? <laughs> well, it has white on it. It does have white. White reminds me of icing. 
Let's read and find out. At school, Meg learned all about box texture. She learned how to make her structures useful, strong, and beautiful. Meg loved everything about maker school. Until Simone showed up. Like Meg, Simone was new. She was also brilliant and creative. Worst of all, Simone was a box tech too. And she was already making things Meg had never dreamed of. I think Meg might feel a little bit jealous. In class, Simone would point out ways Meg could make her constructions a little straighter, more wind resistant, and less boring. So Meg told Simone she should build things that were less bumpy, sturdier, and much prettier. They're not really getting along right now. Hmm? She's got a frown. Her face shows me that she's not happy. What other things do you see on their faces? Uh -huh. Is she riding in a race car and she's falling over? Hmm. This is a... Yeah, see, they they just don't look very happy right now. Let's see if we can figure out if they can work it out. On the last day of school, the class's annual maker match was held to see who could make the most amazing thing. There was just one rule. You had to work as a team. But Meg did not want to work with anyone, and neither did Simone. The blanketeers built with blankets and pillows. The spaghetti techs built with pasta and glue, the bakeologist built with cake and frosting, but the box of text were not building at all. So they were building with cake. That's pretty fun. Can you imagine a house made out of cake? Can you imagine that? Would you want no. to live there? No. No? Why not? Tell me why. Because cake. Because cake falls, right? And nobody wants to live in a squishy house, right? Oh. Yeah. They were arguing. I want to make a tree house, Meg said. No, I want to make a ship, Simone insisted. Meg drew a line down the middle of a very large box. I'll take this half. You can have the other. Fine, said Simone. Soon Meg noticed that her tree house was not as large as Simone's ship. So she made her side taller and more impressive. When Simone noticed that Meg's treehouse was taller than her ship, she made her side higher and more extraordinary. Oh dear, look at that. It's quite the building. Slowly, Meg and Simone's creation grew bigger and bigger. They both built and built until there wasn't a single box left. And at last, they finished. What is it? asked a classmate. I've never seen anything like it, said another. The teacher said, it looks like it might. Can you finish that sentence? What does it look like it might do? Oh. Oh, yes. Ah, crash! Oh dear, their faces are telling me that they are scared. <laughs> and her hat's gone. And, and her hat's gone. <laughs> They're just running. Oh, no. Oh, no. Your side was too wobbly, shouted Meg. Your side was too heavy, cried Simone. Oh, dear, said the judge. The maker match was not over yet, but most of Meg and Simone's work was ruined. There were only a few parts left that could be saved. If we combine my treehouse with your ship, Meg started. We might be able to make one thing, finished Simone. The box of text decided to call a truce so that they could finish the match. Working as a team, Meg and Simone quickly joined the remaining pieces together until they had created something new. Look at that, it's like a boat and a house. I like this detail with the face. You see his face? I see the hook. Uh huh. What's your favorite detail on their creation? And this one. This one's happy because maybe it closed. Yeah, that's it. Closes up and people can get in that way. At the end of the maker match. Hey, they can play with that. Like I'm a bad 
bad guys. They could play bad guys and good guys, couldn't they? That does look like a fun place to play. At the end of the maker match, the box of techs hadn't won first place, but they had a different way of making brilliant and creative things working together. It's very important. And they each gained a new friend. What should we make next? How about a buoyant bungalow or a motorcycle mansion? Oh my goodness. And that's the end of the story. And at the end of this book are all sorts of fun things you can make with what boxes. What is that? Well, it's just an experiment. An experiment that we can do. We're not going to do this one today, but we maybe could do it another time. What did you think? Did you like that book? That tall one. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. Are you ready to make something with me? Okay. Go ahead and sit on your pockets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you your cardboard piece. Here is mine. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this bowl right there. And I want you to take your marker and I want you to trace around your bowl. I'll hold the bowl still so you can do it. Here's your marker. There you go. There you go, good job. Go all the way around, that's that's the way. Perfect, good line drawing. All right, this means I'm gonna tilt it so you can go around this way, all the way around, <laughs> under my arm tunnel. And then we got one more little spot. Great work, Simon. All right, now it's my turn, I'm gonna do mine. Can I use the marker? Here I go, I'm gonna do mine right here. I'm gonna trace my circle. Those of you doing this at home, it can be any size. Size does not matter. It could be a small circle, a large circle, okay. anything goes. Now, I am going to use my super sharp scissors and I'm going to cut them. Okay, this is a part for an adult. So let me cut real quick and then we'll be ready to do the next part, okay? This is going to be a coin spinner or a penny spinner. What spinner? It's something that spins around and around and around. We make these at the studio sometimes. I thought this would be fun to make with you because we're using cardboard and cardboard is made out of a box. And just like our book, we can make lots of things out of boxes. There's yours. There's <laughs> Some lines on it. Mm -hmm. What's on the line? Say that again. Why does it have lines? Well, things come in boxes to the art studio, lots of things, and they have numbers on them so that the people delivering the packages know where to take them. See the mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, here's mine. I'm gonna put my cardboard over to the side. Pick which side you wanna draw on. I think this side. Okay, let's use these paint sticks and add color to our spinner, okay? What color do you think you want to use? I'll get it out for you. Get some other colors out. Yeah, you can try lots of different colors. We just want to add some fun designs, some lines. Ooh, this is a cool It is a cool color. It's kind of shiny, isn't it? Some of our chunkies are shiny and some are are really bright. Ooh, I'm gonna use maybe this one. This yeah, one I'll try pink. that one. You keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna add some pink. I like pink. That your favorite color? Yeah. My favorite color is green. Well, you chose your favorite color. I chose my favorite color. We are we are quite the team, huh? Oh, you're right. It is. It is shiny. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add lines and things. What about white? Hey, that Looks like a ship with they made. You are right. There's some white. I need white. So when you are adding to your your spinner at home, you can do whatever you want. You can do scribbly lines like me. Right. You can add colors like Simon, or you could even draw a picture. It does. It doesn't. It can be whatever whatever you design in your mind. I'm gonna add some red. Oh, look at that color. Do you like red? Hey, you wanna use orange? Sure. What color are you gonna use next? 
I need to use web. I'm put some polka dots. That kind of looks like a puppy. Does it? I love that. Oh no! That one popped out. This one's almost gone. It's been used a lot by our friends. So it's almost done. I love these paint sticks because they dry Ooh, so fast. Even this pub. Okay, that's that great. That thing's a dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, look. Oh, that's my favorite one so far. I like that color a whole lot. Sometimes I like to sing when I make art. Do you? Do you sing when you make art? Like, well, oh, I'm using purple. I can just sing. Kind of sing? When the music is on. Oh, I'm yeah. going to use this color. Okay. Kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep going. This is kind of... What do you think of that color? It's super hard. Mm-hmm. There's some silver or some gold. Oh, we this one. Yeah, the brown. That's fun because it's so super dark. I'm going to add some black to mine. Whoa, it's very dark. It is very dark. <laughs> I think I'm happy with the way mine looks, so I'm done. You let me know when you're done. I think I'm done. You think you're done too? Okay, let's put our chunkies back in the container because we are ready for the next part of our activity. We're using parts of boxes to make some fun spinners. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, now. What we're going to do is I am going to cut a small slit in the middle of our spinners so that we can put our coin in, okay? This is a part that an adult needs to do. Kids shouldn't do this part because you don't want to accidentally and cut yourself. So I'm just going to kind of slice a small slit at the end of my scissors. You're going to have a big one. And then I'm going to do the same thing to you, and I'm doing it in the middle in the middle so that the coin will be in the middle of the spinner. We're kind of making our own cardboard top. Have you ever spun a... Hey, I'm going to use spider, see the mm -hmm. circles? Okay, now it's time to put our coin in. Can you put your coin in the slot? I'll hold it still and you push it in. There you go, line it up. Let's see here. Oh, I don't think I went all the way through the cardboard. Look, I got all the way through the cardboard. Well, maybe you like your fingers there, then that Mm-hmm. We're getting there. See why an adult needs to do this part? We would we would not want any of our artist friends. This is a little bleak. If, well, if you're not careful, that you could bleed if you cut yourself. That's why we have to be careful with art supplies. I only see the coin spinner. Here it comes. The coin. There it is. Yeah. Good. You want it to stay half and half. Half on top, half on the bottom. All right, let's do mine. Let me check. Oh, see, I didn't go all the way through on mine either. I need to go back and do that. So I'm going to put the scissors right here, and I'm going to carefully tell me when you see them. Oh, perfect. Yes. That means we're on the right track. Good. I'm kind of like yucking mm. through them. Mm-hmm. Now, you could make lots of spinny tops. Or you could make just one. Oh, careful. Don't fall. Oh, is it through? Yep. Okay, good. Then, to test our spinny tops, we need something hard. So, we're going to use our box, our box of text books, to test our spinners. I'm going to let you... Test yours first. Now what you're gonna do is we're gonna hold it and we're gonna spin it. Okay, ready? You wanna hold it? One, two, well there it goes. Let's do it on the box. Let me help you do it on the box. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I might need a bigger, a bigger hard surface. There it goes. Look at that. And I cut my finger. That's so fun. 
Oh, look at that. Can you imagine if we did this on the floor, how we could get so many going? I see a box that's bigger over here. I'm gonna grab it. We can both do it at the same time on this smooth surface. Let's try this. Hold on. Get going on that one. So each person in your family could make their own spinner. There you go. Ready to do it at the same time? Oh, I see your quarters coming out. We gotta push it in a little bit. Here you go. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Whoa, let's do it again. Ready, set, go. There. So we could, we could have spinner races. What other things can we do with our fun spinners? What do you think? Fly them in the air, like put them on top. You could put them up somewhere high and let them fly in the air. That sounds like a fun adventure. Oh, we, oh, we can like put it on a chair then spin it. Mm-hmm. You could do something else. You could draw a circle on a big piece of cardboard, and you could have spinner wars where you try to spin. You try to spin each other's out of the circle, and whoever is out of the circle does is out. Ooh, mine can like bring mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of keep kind of touching it. And if you find your spinner, your coin keeps falling out, all that you need to do to reinforce it is um, a piece of masking tape on each side, and that will help the coin stay and not wiggle out. Well, I think you did a great job on your spinner. I really liked it. What blow gonna make? He's gonna make something else soon too, okay? Thank you for reading with us today. I love box of textbook. And if, um, if you're looking to add to your library, it's a really, really great one that encourages engineering and creativity. And we give it two thumbs up, don't we? we give it another thumbs up. And these fun spinners are a fun activity to do to get your kiddo creating. And you know what? I mean, anything can be made with a cardboard so box. Are yours yes. and green is mine. And if your kids love to be box attacks, I tell you what, these chunkies really are the best thing to add color to cardboard because they dry quickly and it's a bright color payoff. So, way to go. I had so much fun with you. Should we say goodbye to our friends now? And then they can show us what they make later. We think. Ready for a goodbye? All right. Three, two, one. Bye! <laughs>